So there are still a few delusional Cleveland Cavalier fans that hit me up and respond in the comment section of my post and tell me that the Cavs will beat the Golden State Warriors in the NBA Finals this year because they have LeBron, because Isaiah is going to get acclimated to the Cleveland Cavaliers system. Kevin Love, shut up. You're, you're delusional is what I have to say to you. The Cavs have absolutely no chance at beating Golden State. And for you few Cleveland Cavalier homers that still believe they have the potential to beat that Golden State Warriors team, let me give you five reasons why the Cavs have no shot at Golden State. Here's reason number one. They barely beat the Warriors in 2016. And that matchup included a better Kyrie Irving. You got Isaiah now. Good luck with that. And the Warriors didn't have a guy by the name of Kevin Durant. You might have heard of him. He's a former MVP. He won the finals MVP last year. He's good for about 28, 29 a game. In the finals, he averaged over 30 points. Um, He's a big difference maker. I don't know if you heard about the length that this brother possesses. He's about 6'10", 6'11". He shoots the three ball better than most guards. He's dribbling on the perimeter like a guard. He gets to the rim with ease. Ever heard of him? Yeah. Second reason, they have no effort. Right now, the Cleveland Cavaliers are playing with no passion, no love for that uniform that they're putting on, and it's even trickled down to LeBron James. Though I believe LeBron has some ulterior motives to why he's not playing the game with his all right now, a la to get the Cleveland Cavaliers to trade that Brooklyn pick, I still believe everyone around that team does not believe that they could beat Golden State, does not believe that they can win games against some of the premier teams in the NBA, and it's starting to trickle down to teams that are not good. The Cavs aren't winning a lot of games at all right now, and a lot of it is effort. Guys are just going out to the 50-50 balls more than the Cavs are right now. And you got guys who are role players mentally thinking they're stars. That's a problem. Third reason, the Cavs have no defense, and that comes with the effort thing. I'm watching guys get blown past there's no no one's talking a lot of the plays on defense. LeBron's not the defender that he was, so he can't control a game from the defensive side of the ball for 38 to 40 minutes like he used to. He's not covering a lot of guys slack anymore. Tristan Thompson, you can't start him. He's giving you five rebounds a game, like four points a game on the offensive side. You can't start him. You go small. Kevin loves your five. He can't block a lot of shots. You put a guy like Dwayne Wade on the court, He's been a part-time defender for the last five or six years. Isaiah Thomas is 5'9". Jay Crowder, the more we learn about him, it's starting to seem as if though he was a system defensive guy. And Brad Stevens, when he was in Boston, put him in a great position to win defensively. Iman Shumpert, I don't know how he got this reputation as a lockdown defender. I've never seen that. J.R. Smith, he's not playing anything at all. Derrick Rose doesn't know if he wants to play the game of basketball. Yeah, the Cavs have no elite defenders, and that's without me mentioning the three-point shooters who do nothing else but three-point specialize like a Channing Fry and a Cal Cora. Yeah, they play no defense. I brought up Kevin Durant early, but let's go in more in-depth in it. The fourth reason. Kevin Durant is absolutely a phenomenal basketball player. His ability to not only make LeBron's life a living heck when LeBron has to guard Kevin Durant, but also, KD is taking it upon himself to pick up LeBron James as soon as he crosses half court. That's a lot for LeBron James to have to deal with when LeBron James, when he looks up on the offensive side, he doesn't have a Klay Thompson or a Steph Curry or a guy who can move the offense and move the ball like a Draymond Green. LeBron's that guy for Cleveland. He's looking up and he's like, yo, I got to do this, 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 and that. And guard Kevin Durant on the other end. Are you serious? Kevin Durant, we don't give this brother, you say what you want about him, but his greatness and the, his ability to score the basketball and now he's committing the defense, we just can't sweep that under the rug. This dude is a top two basketball player in the world for a reason. No matter if he plays for the Thunder, the Warriors, or Pluto, he's that good. The brother can do everything on the court and if he's no longer a liability on defense, he has no holes in his game. Yeah, the Warriors got that guy now. It, that, that makes it a little bit more difficult to beat that team. And my fifth and final reason why 
The Cavs have no shot at, be at beating Golden State in the finals this year. It's just everyone is rich, famous, and they take LeBron for granted. Let me break that down. J.R. Smith got paid. Tristan Thompson got paid. Those guys got paid because of LeBron James. They no longer put in the work that they put in previously to earn those contracts. Iman Shumpert has made a nice bit of change playing with New York and the Cleveland Cavaliers. He is married to Tiana Taylor. She's a superstar, right? He's more in the reality television world. You might as well consider him a Kardashian. Kanye West married to Kim Kardashian. Kanye West signed Tiana Taylor. It's all in the Kardashian realm, right? Derrick Rose, he's made a lot of money in his life. Money is not the thing with him. That's why you see him questioning the passion because he's made so much money in his life. It's not the thing with him. The one guy that wants to get paid, Isaiah Thomas, who's only made at a high $6 million a year, to get his contract, he's taking unnecessary shots. He's doing unnecessary things on the court, which is hurting his Cavs team. Dwayne Wade, he's made a lot of money in his career, and he's going to continue to make more money after the game of basketball. Kyle Culver, he's received his money in the league. Channing Fry got a nice deal with the Orlando Magic in the past. There are no guys on this team outside of Isaiah with the hunger to want to play for that next contract. That is a problem. People don't have anything to prove, and they're taking for granted that LeBron James, he's so great, everyone knows what he wants out of his legacy. People are taking for granted, and they think LeBron James is just going to be a guarantee to get to the finals every year, I guess, till he retires. Because you know how much commitment LeBron James puts into the game. The irony is, the best player in the world, and maybe one of the best all-time LeBron, is the one working as if he hadn't done anything in the league, he hadn't made any money in the league, hadn't accomplished anything. You got a bunch of guys who are role players at best. Some of these guys wouldn't be in the league if they didn't play with LeBron James. Feeling as if, though, they're better than putting in the work and the time and the effort. How do you get off doing something that you haven't earned the right to do. Why is LeBron James outworking you guys? It makes no sense. He's the one with the legacy, not you. You should be continually building your legacy. There's just a few reasons. I have more in the chamber of why the Cavs have no shot at beating Golden State, but those are the five that stand out to me. This team has no chance at beating Golden State come June, if they make it to June.